Serious beer, serious beer, beer of the day with serious beer. Serious beer outside the Flying Fish Brewery in lovely South Central New Jersey. We go inside, have a tasting, have a brew tour, get some video going on, get this on film, and go back and have a tasty brew at the beer studios. But first, let's head inside and have some tastings. Serious beer out. Serious beer on location at the Flying Fish Brewery. Got a little flight here. Uh, four beers we're gonna try. First one we're gonna go with is a frickin' Thursday. It's a raspberry infused farmhouse saison. Smelling the raspberries very strongly. You can almost smell kind of weird that I'm gonna have a sip and I'm gonna pick a seed out of my mouth. I almost can feel that I'm gonna have a raspberry seed after I finish this one. <laughs> Wow. Again, if you know me, not a big Lambic fan, not a big fruit fan in beers, but this is refreshing. Very palate cleansing. No sip. Very, very little aftertaste. Birkin Thursday. Holy crap, it is Thursday. Serious beer, 4.1 out of five. Perkin Thursdays for me. Stay tuned for our next tasting, which could be in a matter of minutes. Serious beer out. Serious beer trying out the Hot Fish IPA. It's a year round. I know I've had this one before, but again, I never had it straight out of keg. So, you get a whiff. Right out of the keg, not really smelling that wonderful. Interesting, very, very coffee flavored, very, it looks like a, a dark aftertaste to it. Kind of odd. Serious beer, thinking uh, 3.6 on the Hot Fish IPA. Again, it's very thick, very dark tasting, kind of flattish. Not a great smell. Drinkable, but not my favorite. Two more to try out. Serious beer. As a serious boy likes me to say, signing off. Serious beer back again. Trying out the Gone Fishing Flying Fish Saison du Fish, they say. Saison du Fish. This one do fish. Well, I can see that because it's 10% alcohol. Bubble gummy. Got that smell. Slight hint of cloves. Again, I don't know if it's the freshness. It has to be the freshness. Very, very palate cleansing again. Very nice, very smooth. Low carbonation, a nice, nice murky color to it. Serious beer, I may give this one a 4.5 on the serious beer scale. Kind of high, I usually don't go that high, but this one is really refreshing. Serious beer coming back in a couple seconds. Thank you, gone fishing. Serious beer out. Serious beer doing his last review at the wonderful Flying Fish Brewery. The uh, staff is wonderful. The young lady behind the counter is great. <clears throat> uh, knowledgeable, helpful. I'm gonna fill up my growler. We're gonna get out of here, but before we do, we're gonna have another tasting of the red fish. Again, fans you know, Red and Elliot don't go together, but lately they've seemed to be flowing. Let's see what this is like. It's a bold West Coast style India Pale Ale. Not much of a smell to it. It used to have a head when it was poured about 20 minutes ago. Wow, you know what? If all the reds were like this, 
I would become more of a fan. This is wonderful. This red fish IPA, sort of. It is refreshing, tasty, no aftertaste at all. Serious beer rating on this one. A 4.2, yeah, going low, because you know, I'm still a little apprehensive about the reds, but pretty darn tasty. Serious beer, we're gonna growl there, head back to the Serious Beer Studios. What will it be? What will we try out from our delightful visit here in Central West New Jersey with the Flying Fish Brewery? I'll just have to wait and see a whole three, one and a half seconds. Serious Beer signing off. Serious Beer back in the Beer Vault Beer Studio Beer Home. We'll make this quick. We spent a lot of time at the Flying Fish Brewery, a lot of videos. Episode 38, what are we calling this one? Flying Fish and beyond don't forget to like and subscribe below as you saw we spent some time at the flying fish brewery in somerdale new jersey very pleasant staff great assortment of gifts and beer and right now we're going to sample the farmhouse summer ale in this delightful glass that i got from flying fish hopefully they don't spill it on my lap like what happened yesterday so we're just going to top it off real quick Nice head to it. A tribute to a highly drinkable everyday beers from French-speaking Belgian. Belgian? No, Belgium. <laughs> it contains Belgian two-row pale malt and 7% wheat. Okay, so a delightful smell to it. 4.9% alcohol. IBUs 15.1. Comes in 12-ounce bottles. Should be available now through September 1st at your local... Beer Emporium. Or where do we go? Spirits Limited in, in Point Pleasant. But back to the beer. Trying the Farmhouse Summer Ale. Bubbly. Clean. Effervescent. There's that word again. Effervescent. Did you use it? Did you use it the other day in a sentence? Okay. Beer is tasty. No aftertaste whatsoever. Very smooth. A great summer beer. Serious beer rating, 4.2 out of five on our serious beer scale. Thank you again, Flying Fish Brewery. Thank you again, Spirits New Jersey. Thank you again, fans. We will see you tomorrow for another beer episode. Episode 38, signing off. Flying Fish and beyond.